Hello, and welcome to a quick preview of the multi-site tools add-on for WP Migrate DB Pro. Here we have a fresh install of WordPress. And here in another tab, we have a multi-site network install of WordPress. Here we have a primary site. We have an A domain site and a B site. As you can see, they're all with different colors. Let's extract one of these sites and make it a single site install. First, we navigate to Migrate DB Pro on the network. By default, the first type is an export file. That's exactly what we need. Here you see we have a new option when the multi-site tools add-on is installed. Export a subsite as a single site install. We'll check that. If we then select, say, the A multi-dev, we then get a new box for the table name prefix. We know in this case that we need subsite as the prefix for the tables. I need to update the URL to subsite.dev and the path needs to be changed as well. Those will be replaced on the export. Here you can see the tables that are going to be exported. In this case, because we selected subsite A, which has a unique ID of two, it's picked just those tables, plus the global user meta and users tables. If I instead switch to subsite B, those tables update. Now we'll be exporting the tables for the B subsite. Everything else looks okay. I'm going to just save the migration for later. And export the file. That's the export complete. I'll switch to terminal and look in my downloads folder. Now I just need to unzip the downloaded file and then import that into MySQL. That's the import complete. Let's check it. If I refresh my, my single site install, there you go. Now has the content from the B subsite. If I change my mind and I want the A instead, I can quickly go back, change to the A subsite, URL has changed, the tables have changed. Quickly do the export again. There's my new file. And import it. If I refresh the subsite, now it has the content and themes and settings for the A subsite. Hope you enjoyed this quick preview of the multi-site tools add-on for WP Migrate DB Pro.